This interactive CD wall gives you full access to valuable information regarding the many dinosaurs and other prehistoric life you will witness on this Jurassic experience. Children under 10 must be accompanied by an adult. Welcome to Park Drive, Jurassic Park's one-of-a-kind dinosaur safari tour. Hello. This interactive CD-ROM gives you full access to valuable information regarding the many dinosaurs and other prehistoric life you will witness on this Jurassic experience. Please keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Never mind the steering wheel, our completely automated fleet will handle the drive for you. With our cutting-edge technology, we provide a one-of-a-kind private safari tour experience of Jurassic Park. No expense has been spared on our custom fleet of Jeeps and our sustainable electric SUVs outfitted bumper to bumper with the latest technology. Sit back and relax while listening to our interactive CD-ROM tour program. During most of your tour, the appropriate information will be automatically selected and displayed for you. Simply touch the area of the screen displaying the appropriate icon to select the information manually. Welcome to Jurassic Park. You are now entering the lost world of the prehistoric past. A world filled with creatures long gone from the face of the earth, which you are privileged to see for the first time. The trees to your left and right are called cycads, prehistoric predecessors of palm trees. Cycads were a favorite food of the dinosaurs. You also see benetitols and ginkgos. The Jurassic world included more modern plants, such as pine trees and swamp Cyprus. We imagine the dinosaurs as huge vegetarians, eating their way through the swampy forests of the Jurassic and Cretaceous worlds a hundred million years ago. But most dinosaurs were not as large as people think. The smallest dinosaurs were no bigger than a house cat, and the average dinosaur was the size of a pony. But for most people, the classic dinosaur is the sauropod, which we are going to see now. We'll begin our tour today with a scenic view of the island. Here in this vast mountain range, you may see many creatures on display at Jurassic Park. The enclosure here is filled with many species of plants native to the regions these dinosaurs lived in. 
The trees are a variety of seed plants, a group of prehistoric life that have been around for nearly 400 million years. And the grasses are a species of juniper. Samples can be purchased at the Gallimimus gift shop located at our visitor center. If you look to the right, you will see a herd of the first dinosaurs on our tour, called Dilophosaurus. One of the earliest carnivores, we now know Dilophosaurus is actually poisonous, spitting its venom at its prey, causing blindness and eventually paralysis, allowing the carnivore to eat at its leisure. This makes Dilophosaurus a beautiful but deadly addition to Jurassic Park. Coming up on the right, you may see one of Jurassic Park's smaller residents. The pro Ceratosaurus was originally believed to be an ancestor of the late Jurassic Ceratosaurus, hence its name before Ceratosaurus. Here at Jurassic Park, the latest methods of genetic analysis reveal that it may actually be a distant ancestor to the infamous T-Rex. If you look on the bluff to the left, you'll see Le Gigantes, the site of our superb three-star dining room. Chef Alain Richard hails from the world-famous Le Beaumanier in France. Make your reservations by dialing four from your hotel rooms.
If you look to your left, you will see the dome of the Jurassic Park aviary. This large metal structure is one of the largest in the world, capable of holding a large population of our pteranodons. During the tour, you will see many dinosaurs called Compsognathus. These small, chicken-sized dinosaurs don't have their own territory and are allowed to roam free on the island, serving as a kind of waste disposal system. You may find them in the enclosures of other dinosaurs, eating waste and rotten food left behind by our picky carnivores. It's time for some Jurassic trivia. What animal does this call belong to? Did you guess Velociraptor? That was actually the call of a Nubler tufted deer. These deer were allegedly imported onto Isla Nubler by 16th century Spanish conquistadors when the island was first discovered by the Spanish Empire. Today these animals are restricted towards the west and north sides of the island away from the park so as to not disturb the dinosaur population. Time, the ever-flowing river. 
Come with us now to a time before man, when the river flowed through a newborn world and giants walked the earth. Welcome to Jurassic Park. The big animals you see are commonly called Brontosaurus, but they're actually Apatosaurus. Each animal weighs more than 30 tons, as much as a whole herd of elephants. They're one of the largest land animals in Earth's history. Many of the species here on our Mesozoic jungle river are herbivorous, like the Stegosaurus. These animals are easily recognizable by the large plates on their back. They are equipped with four spikes on the end of their tail called a thagomizer, which can be used to defend against carnivores, such as Allosaurus. This upcoming species may be too intense for younger audiences, and those who are squeamish at the sight of blood are warned to avert their attention during this performance. The Velociraptor is a small predator from North America during the early Cretaceous period. But despite its small size, it's quite an impressive hunter. Velociraptor is a pack hunter using larger numbers to surround their prey. They're incredibly intelligent social animals using unique barks and calls to communicate to other Velociraptors. This combined with their intelligence makes them an incredibly successful ambush predator. Digging their six inch sickle claws into the skin of their prey they're able to easily rip and tear into their victims, spilling their guts onto the ground, leading to a slow and painful death. As we approach this next enclosure, please remember that many of the dinosaurs on our tour are carnivorous, and that some viewers may not be comfortable witnessing violence and aggression. The Hererosaurus is a very unique dinosaur at Jurassic Park. In fact, for many years, paleontologists questioned its status as a dinosaur, claiming instead 
It may be a relative. It's time for some Jurassic trivia. Can you guess what these plants are to the right of the boat? If you guessed palm trees, you would be half correct. They're called cycads and are ancient ancestors to palm trees. This ancient lineage of plants called cicadals first appeared in the Permian period almost 300 million years ago and since then have been a specialty amongst many species of ancient herbivorous life. The distinctive cranial crest on the back of Parasaurolophus' head has a large cavity connected to its external naris bone, allowing it to make loud calls which can be heard across the island. If you look across the islands, you may see the enormous aviary dome. And directly below is our Mesozoic jungle river, where if you are lucky, you just may catch a glimpse of a very rare carnivore. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. This small theropod dinosaur is known as Segesaurus, or the Tsegi Canyon Lizard. This carnivore is capable of rallying in packs and taking down larger prey, while being small enough to hide in burrows and bushes to avoid larger predators. This dinosaur might be found in the trees above its paddock,
Dilophosaurus are incredibly social dinosaurs, utilizing a unique hierarchy in which a single adult leads a pack of juveniles. Here at Jurassic Park, we have separated our dilos by age across multiple paddocks, allowing you to witness the dynamic evolution of one of our most intriguing dinosaurs. Coming up on the left, you will see a herd of one of our most iconic dinosaurs, the Corinthosaurus. This hadrosaur dons a unique helmet-shaped crest, similar in shape to a pompadour, giving this dinosaur the nickname Elvis by our park staff. It's time for some Jurassic trivia. What animal does this call belong to? Did you guess Gallimimus? That was actually the call of a barn owl. These large nocturnal birds are native across North America, including Isla Nublar. Their large eyes help them to see in the dark, and they possess a reflective layer in their eye called a tapetum allowing you to see their eyes at night. Keep your eyes peeled.
Gallimimus, known as the ostrich dinosaur for the shape of its shoulders, has a very strong nesting instinct. You may see patches of flattened grass in its enclosure signifying an empty nest, however, because all of the dinosaurs at Jurassic Park are female. All of the eggs laid will be unfertilized. Coming up now is one of Jurassic Park's most popular attractions, the Bari Onyx. Otherwise known as the Heavy Claw, this crocodile-like dinosaur spends most of its time in the dense swamps of the island, feeding on fish and small crustaceans. However, despite its pecivorous appetite, it is a formidable predator. With its bear-like dagger-shaped claws, it is quite capable of tearing through anything it might consider as food. We are now approaching the underground tunnel system. Please do not be afraid. To those who suffer from claustrophobia, we suggest that you sit back, relax, close your eyes, and focus on the sounds of the prehistoric past. For safety reasons, we must remind you to stay in your seats at all times until the tour has completely exited the tunnel. And not to worry, there are no dinosaurs in the tunnels. It's time for some Jurassic trivia. 
Do you know when the first dinosaur was cloned? The first dinosaur created for Jurassic Park was the mighty Triceratops. Born in 1986, these gentle giants were among the last of the dinosaurs, and as the first revived prehistoric creature, they closed the 65 million year gap between today and the age of the dinosaurs. The mighty T-Rex arose late in dinosaur history. Dinosaurs ruled the Earth for 150 million years, but there were tyrannosaurs for only the last 15 million years of that period. If the sensors don't see Rex around, she usually comes within five minutes of hearing dinner. If she doesn't, that usually means she's sleeping we might have access to her at the picnic area. As we pass the Tyrannosaurus enclosure, you might catch a glimpse of her to your left. There's a bit of luck involved since the Tyrannosaurus conceals herself during the day. Ironically, our T-Rexes are incredibly shy. In case you didn't see her, don't worry. We'll have a couple more chances on our way to our next stop, which is a fascinating animal in its own right, the Metria Canthosaurus.
The Metriacanthosaurus is one of our most fascinating dinosaurs. Very limited material has ever been recovered, making it a prized addition to our ever-growing Jurassic menagerie. The horns on top of the Metriacanthosaurus head were used for identification between individuals. Although the bite force of allosaurids like Metriacanthosaurus is relatively weak compared to most other carnivores, they make up for it with their incredible speed. On your right is a road that leads to Jurassic Park's marine facility. The Mosasaur will provide the star attraction as Jurassic Park's Devil from the Deep. Newly hired marine animal behaviorists and redesigned safety protocols will assure a thrilling and family-friendly marine spectacular. So be sure to schedule a visit when we return to the visitor's center. Those triceratops are near sighted and they'd charge our car if they were close enough to see it. But relax folks, we're safe enough here. That fan-shaped crest behind their head is made of solid bone. These animals weigh about seven tons each. Despite their appearance, they're actually docile and like to be petted. If you take a look to your left, you will witness one of our multi-species herbivore paddocks. 
containing two of our most popular dinosaurs. The Parasaurolophus is known as the near-crested lizard, after the large hollow bone connected to the back of its head, capable of amplifying its call across the island. The Gallimimus is the fastest dinosaur in Jurassic Park, capable of running up to speeds of 30 miles per hour. However, you may be surprised to find that Gallimimus is actually omnivorous, with its diet consisting of both plants and mainly insects, but on rare occasions, even rotten flesh. It's time for some Jurassic trivia. What animal does this call belong to? Did you guess Dilophosaurus? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern-day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the final paddock along the tour. Keep your eyes peeled for our most elusive dinosaur attraction, the adult Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus means two-crested lizard, after the large crests adorned at the top of its head. These crests serve as an attraction tool. Flushing blood towards the top of their head can make the crests appear brighter in color, which females can find alluring. Paleontologists once thought that their jaw muscles were too weak to kill prey, and imagined they were primarily scavengers. But now we know they are poisonous. Along with such living reptiles as Gila monsters and rattlesnakes, Dilophosaurus secretes a hepatotoxin from glands in its mouth. Unconsciousness follows within minutes of a bite. The dinosaur will then finish the victim off at its leisure. Making Dilophosaurus a beautiful but deadly addition to the animals you see here at Jurassic Park. As we are leaving the park area, I'd like to thank you for joining us and I hope you have enjoyed the tour. I'd like to remind you of the other attractions here at Jurassic Park. First of which is the Bone Shaker Amusement Park, located a short walk away from the visitor center. Next is the park's newest attraction, the aviary. The marine facility is an attraction that you and your family will never forget as you come face to face with marine creatures that not even your imagination could have come up with. Or, how about the Jungle River Cruise, where you can possibly get a peek at the wild Velociraptor. Lastly, I'd like to invite you to check out our Pterosaur's Eye Tour of Jurassic Park that is located at the park's heliport. If you're interested in any other activities, please talk to someone at the main desk. Jurassic Park is home to three world-famous hotels. The four-star Iguanodon Inn, which is home to our Countdown to Extinction nightclub, our Bone Cave Arcade, and the Jurassic Park Golf Course. The four-star Pteranodon Lodge, located inside the aviary, home to Jurassic Park's flying reptiles, the Pteranodon, from the lodge, visitors could observe the creatures at flight level. Our five-star beach resort, featuring over 200 family-sized beach houses, each with its own fishing pier and dock. Feel free to park your own fishing boat, or if you wish, you may rent one of our many party yachts. Fishing equipment is available for rent at our Nubler Crab Shack a three-star seafood restaurant a short walk away from the villas, where you may also find dozens of family-friendly themed amenities. Lastly, the five-star safari lodge, our five-star resort featuring 350 elegant suites, a magnificent ballroom, and a gourmet restaurant featuring the culinary talents of Chef Tony Carom. Our founder, John Hammond's multi-million dollar private paleo art collection is on display in a gallery off the main floor. The last stop 
is our multi-level visitor center. The central rotunda displays the fossilized remains of creatures we have brought back from extinction through the science of genetic engineering. They are a reminder of a past where we could only look at the bones of the now living, breathing creatures of Jurassic Park. State-of-the-art technology delivers an experience like no other as you visit the actual labs and hatchery where the animals of the park are created and born. The visitor center also offers fine dining at our restaurant, Cretaceous Cafe. Thank you for joining us for a one-of-a-kind tour of Jurassic Park. We hope you have enjoyed the tour. Make sure to schedule your next tour either by speaking with someone at the visitor center information desk or by dialing zero on your hotel room phone. Our park hours are from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. The Gallimimus gift shop closes at 6 p.m. So make sure to get your official Jurassic Park merchandise during your stay. Our Bone Shaker Amusement Park closes at 9 p.m. each night. Please remember that 24 hours a day, you can request a shuttle to and from your hotels, the visitor's center, our North Dock, or our airport. You can request a shuttle by dialing zero on your hotel phone or by speaking with one of our friendly Jurassic Park staff. We hope that you enjoy the rest of your stay here at Jurassic Park. Ember Miners, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and click the bell icon to be notified of our videos when we upload them.